Hello and welcome to my tutorial for ArtRage Studio Pro. Uh, there was a question recently asked at the ArtRage forums on how to install ArtRage Canvas presets and the grains that they make use of. Now the method I'm going to be showing you is going to be a bit obsolete at this point because the newer 3.5 release of the program has introduced a feature called the ArtRage packs. Okay, so these new packs uh, basically will be you know, put together by whoever is going to be sharing the content and all of the files that we're going to be fiddling with will be inside the pack. All right, so it would only mean that the users would just click on the single file and ArtRage would basically take care of all of the hard stuff for us. Uh, but, you know, there's still a lot of these free files floating around at the ArtRage forums currently, which means, you know, people are still going to have to do some of this the hard way. All right, so this is going to be how we're going to do that. Um, for this example, all right, I'm going to be using one of Mr. Paint's collections, okay, uh, and I'm going to provide a link for that uh, at the bottom in the description of the video. All right, so what I had done is gone to his uh, forum thread and downloaded the collection that he set up there. All right, and it came in two different links. All right, one was the uh, preset nice collection zip, and the other was a grains nice collection zip. Okay. Uh, I already unzipped these, and that gave me the two folders you see here by the same name. All right, and if I open up this preset nice collection, you're going to see that they have CPR files in there. Okay, the CPR files are the Canvas preset uh, files for ArtRage. All right, if I open up the grains collection, you'll see that it contains a bunch of images. Okay, these are all in JPEG format. Um, they could be PNG format. Okay, either or, doesn't matter which. Okay, so the preset collection here is going to be going into our canvas folder, and the grains collection will obviously go into the grains folder. Okay, so once you've got those downloaded and unzipped for yourself, uh, what you're going to want to do is open up ArtRage. Okay, so here I have ArtRage opened. And what we'd want to do is go to Tools, and go down to User Content. And here you'll see a list of all the different resources that we have available to us. Okay, what you want to find is Open User Canvas Preset Folder. Okay, give that a click, and that'll open up that folder for you. Okay, at this point, what we want to do is open up our other folder with the uh, collections in it, and find the one for the canvases. Okay, and if you remember, that was the presets nice collection in this case, and you just want to drag that directly into the other folder. All right. Now you could copy and paste it, uh, but I choose not to have them opened up twice. Okay, you just save space on my hard drive. Okay, so I just dragged it in there, and we can now close the uh, canvas folder we had opened, and we go back into ArtRage, and select Tools, and User Content, and this time we're going to select Open User Paper Grains folder. Okay, so here's our grains folder. And once again, we're going to bring up our folder with the collections in it, grab the grains collection, and drag that into our grains folder. All right. And at this point, we can go ahead and close all of our folders. And we're all set to use ArtRage. So what we can do is go to File, select New Painting, click on the Canvas panel, and you can see we now have a group called Presets Nice Collection. If you give that a click, you'll see all the different canvas presets that he made available for us to use. I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these, click OK, and as you see, I can now use that canvas. And because we went ahead and installed those grains as well, if we open up our layer menu and say Edit Layer Texture, we can opt to change our grain to one of the grains nice collection. Okay, so we can go into those and pick a completely different grain to use for that particular layer. And as you can see, it's changed how that reacts with the uh, tool I'm using, even though the background is still remaining the same texture. Okay, so that's all there was to it. Hope it helps.